Anna is, she's a young girl. She's strong, but not, we can see her growing into being a strong woman. And, you know, being that kind of a character. We can see the build of character and it's not happening in a very fortunate events, obviously, you know, but we can see the real person becoming that strong, powerful thing. I mean, she's a killing machine in a way, but she's still real. I mean, this girl could actually live somewhere, you know, we, can, we probably even know her. Both parents die and she has no one else. So, and she tried to survive because she was young, she was 14, 15. So next time we see her, she's 18 and she's living with this awful, terrible guy who probably loved her at some point, you know, because she was beautiful, young and innocent. And there are some evil people on this planet who like to spoil beauty, you know, and that kind of sweet thing. Olga secretly loves Anna very much because Olga probably once were Anna. She, she was her and she knows what, what Anna is going through. And she respects Anna because she's smart. And I think Olga values that very much. And Olga knows that Anna is, she has honor. She's never gonna betray anyone like her real, real people, but she doesn't really have them, so. But she could smell that Anna and her and Olga are like, they're like, they have this, the character together, like the build of character. It's basically what's in their core. It's something very similar. And Olga tests Anna a lot and she tries to break her and she's just pushing and pushing and Anna stays like strong. There are moments like uh, when you feel that Anna and Alex and Anna and Lenny, you know, they have this something. But the thing is that they're all made of the same thing. You know, it's CIA, KGB is not really a big difference. You still do the same job. And they can't really be themselves with anyone in normal life because, you know, it's always undercover sort of thing going on. But with Anna, guys can be a little more real because she, she gets it. She's, she's the same. We're all here in the same boat. He brought Nikita, he brought Lucy, he brought Matilda, you know, that side, amazing. Lilu, great, strong female characters. And he's so good with stories. He has something about making that character's more human. Because when you when you like filming action scene or action movie, it's very easy to get more like superheroish, you know, I'm like great and nothing can touch me. But he balanced with that human side of the story because of course she she's phenomenal. She's a killer machine, but she still is a real person. There's something about look and about that period of time, like 90s, that works so well together. Because he has a great sense of like style and the way everything looked and the way he moved the camera and music, because he does everything. Paris, it's such a beautiful city and we were filming in like in Parc Monceau and then we were filming in that like beautiful old apartment. So you have that amazing, incredible locations. And you know, I always, I have this memory when I was a kid and I was watching James Bond movies and they always film at these beautiful places, you know? So it's not just about what's going on, but also what's around. So I think that Luke wanted to show Moscow, for example, um, some beautiful parts of Moscow. And he shot in this incredible, beautiful supermarket. It's like a sort of a store, food store, but it's from 18th century. So it's so gorgeous. It was important for me that this movie, people are gonna have that kind of pleasure of having like 
cool outfits. And Olivier agreed completely, and that was his goal as well. So we have everything, couture, amazing, beautiful dresses. CIA, Lenny, is more like cool, very beautiful suits, like bluish color, and then Alex is more like earth colors, like brownish, like sort of greenish, and it's more like sweaters and leather. So to show different KGB and CIA moments. So it's very cool because when, that, when they meet each other at some point, you can you see the difference. There are a few outfits I like, the leather, like everything, like the leather pants, big boots, because that's what makes you feel like you're a badass thing. And there was a lot of beautiful lingerie involved. Audience is going to be definitely surprised when they're going to watch Anna, because it's incredible story. It's a great sort of journey, and it's a lot of cool moments which you just go like, yeah, and it's a great finale. Hey, it's Lisa here with a cool movie extra fact. Now, slow motion during gunfights has been used in many films over the last 50 years. The film Blade depicted a slow motion sequence with CGI bullets to portray a superhuman ability. These effects were combined and perfected by The Matrix, which is where many people saw the bullet time effect for the first time. Now, are you a fan of The Matrix series? Let me know below.